I turned that off before uh, I get in trouble with for the copyright infringement. Anyways, um, so a couple days ago, I put my truck finally in to get some service, and uh, the lady that I spoke with was uh, one of the mechanics there, and she was like, "Oh, we won't have any room till Wednesday, and you think you bring it in then, like around noon?" And I'm and I'm like, "Forgive me for being forceful, but I can bring you the truck now." And this is like one of the only opportunities that I do have to give it to you. So either it's now or it could be a week from now. Uh, what do you say you help a guy out? And I was, I was, I was polite. I probably was a bit more polite than that. And uh, she, there was a bit of hemming and hawing and stuff. Like, well, we're really busy right now. Da da da. You know how it is. And uh, so I said, okay, I can bring it to you today, or I can bring it to you next week. But I just, I can drop it off. I don't need the truck. I have a spare truck. I've already transferred everything over. We can make this happen now. Within about 15 minutes, I can drop it off for you. What do you say? And she finally, like, I talked a little bit more than that, kind of sweetened it up a little bit. And she finally said yes. So I'm like, awesome. I'll see you in 15. So I dropped the truck off, and that was yesterday, uh, being Monday. I dropped it off at noon. I got a call today at noon saying, hey, your truck's ready. Did the brakes. We checked uh, the computer, your uh, check engine light was something to do with the fuel system. Um, everything is a pass, so there's nothing, it isn't continuing. Because um, my, my truck has a stant, which is like a NASCAR thing, where you put the nozzle in, it opens up, and fuel, and you, can, you take it out. You don't have to, you don't have that fuel cap. Um, I don't like the stance. I call it a stant, but uh, it's obviously something else. Um, it's always bothered me because it always uh, trips the, uh, the fuel uh, fuel nozzle. Anyways, um, they fixed my stereo, which was a software glitch. I'm just like, oh, I could have had it in before all that because it just would kill the stereo, as you've seen in my videos before, um, which is really annoying. But I can always restart it up until recently. And then uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the reason why it wasn't re able to restart is because I was actually turning the stereo off when I was doing things. So if I turn the stereo off and the glitch happens, I'm not able to restart it until the stereo decides to turn itself back on. Um, but if it is on when it has the glitch and not turned off, so I started turning the volume down instead of that, which solved my problem because I could always restart the stereo. But it's one of those stereos that always stays on, so it's a bit annoying. So you have to completely shut the car off for like five, ten minutes. So it shuts down, shuts down, like dead, dead. And then, uh, what do you call it? Then the stereo will be able to be restarted and are glitched to restart. Uh, that all being said, I got it in there and I kind of had to force myself in there and within 24 hours, my truck is ready. So I'm like, sweet. The other thing I told them, like my battery is dying. Like it's either dying or it's dead. Like it still starts the vehicle, but winter time it sucked and I was left stranded a couple times. Obviously I figured it out myself. You might've seen the video and uh, well, guess what? They told me the battery's dead. Oh my God, that's a shock what I said to Greg. So my, he's my mechanic there. There was a couple other little things or whatever. Nothing big. But uh, my truck is back up and operational. Very happy with that. And the moral of the story is push. Push a little bit. And tell them, hey, I don't need this back right away. You can have it for the week. You can have it for two weeks. I have a spare vehicle. And guess what? It was done within 24 hours. And I can just go pick up the keys. Obviously, I'm not doing that right now. And do I ever miss my tinted windows? I went to uh, the drive-in. That sucked. Even driving at night. Oh my! I cannot handle that. It's so bright. I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyways, that all being said, as I've been keep repeating myself, the moral story is push a little bit. Say, hey, I'm just gonna leave this here for you guys. Just in case, if you get to it, you get to it. If you don't get till to Wednesday, then you don't get till to don't get to it till Wednesday. Well, guess what? They did it 24 hours sooner, and they didn't even have to keep it over past Wednesday. So that's amazing. So, anyways, that all being said, I'm very happy. Tomorrow, I get my truck back. So, hope you all get something from this.